I'm going to show you how to make the cowboy boot block today. Most of our laser cut kits come with a stack of uh, one and a half inch squares and what I want you to do is sew them together and we're going to me measure to make sure your seam allowances are accurate. Um, so when we sew all five together they should measure five and a half inches exactly. So I, I'll do that real quick. I'm using a wallpaper seam flattener, I don't know what they're called, but to uh, actually just press my seams open um, on this little sample. So I've sewn all five of those little pieces together and um, measured it, and it's, I'm right at five and a half inches. So I'm using an accurate scant quarter seam allowance. On the Juki, um, the foot is actually referred to as a one-fifth inch foot. And so it gives you a seam allowance smaller than uh, many machines. You don't want this, let me see if I can sew, show you. Um, seam allowance, if it was a traditional quarter, you would be taking too much fabric and your unit would end up being smaller than five and a half inches. So you want to make adjustments to your seam allowance until this measures. Just keep reusing the little squares that we send you with your kit um, and, and mark your machine or move your needle or do whatever you need to do to always use that scant quarter seam allowance. What we've started doing on our laser cut kits to make it um, kind of foolproof in terms of what piece goes where is we have cut little notches that you're going to match up when you're piecing. And so when I lay this fabric on there, you can see that it aligns perfectly. And that's going to be true as I work my way all the way through this block. So I've put right sides together and I'm ready to sew my first seam. So when you're taking these seams, your seam should start and end at the points. Um, that's a sign that you're taking an accurate seam allowance and the block will turn out the right size. So I've kind of laid out the colors that I want for this particular block. The foot is going to be the same as these two triangles. And I, I don't know if you can see, but the little notches are different for each section. So like this one is a, a half or a little half round circle. And so I'm going to go ahead and put those two triangles on and that will complete the upper part of the, the boot. So my two upper units are ready to sew together. I've completed the upper unit and I've just pressed all my seams open with the little wallpaper press. So I'm ready to go on to the, the foot part of it. I've laid out the, the foot part of this boot and you can see that each piece has different notches in different positions and so you're matching those up um, with the pieces around it. And I'm going to go ahead and sew this heel unit first and then I'll put my two triangles on for the foot. So I've sewn one, the last background piece. You can see the little multiple bites there. This is a sort of a long awkward piece but again if you make sure that your thread just goes from point to point you're going to be okay and the piece will go together fine. So I'm just going to press these open and then I'm ready to attach my heel unit to the rest of the foot. So now the boot part of it, or the foot part of the boot, is done. I'll attach that to the top section. My boot block is now done, and this is the laser cut sashing, and I'm laying it down on the block just to kind of compare. You'll, you'll end up piecing it on there, but your finished quilt block should be exactly the same measurement of the, as the sashing, and it is. So I'm ready to assemble more blocks. These are only taking about five minutes each, so you'll have a quilt in no time.